Did you see the eclipse? The camera's over here. Oh. Hey, everybody. We didn't get those special glasses. We just looked directly at the sun. Why did everybody have to get warned today not to look at the sun? Like, people were warning each other that don't look at the sun today? Like, who the fuck is, like, okay with looking at the sun? What's this about? Well, they want to see it. Well, why do you have to warn, though? I don't under... I know myself, 100%, that I cannot look at the sun. I'm going to blind myself. I'm not doing that. Did you know, on Google right now, the most searched... <laughs> the most searched thing on Google, I swear it said... Um, I was reading an article just now. It said... <laughs> the, the search was hurt... <laughs> hurt eyes. <laughs> That's the most search shit. <laughs> there was no question that just said her eyes. <laughs> How stupid can people be? That's crazy. I can't get over it. Did you look at the sun today? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did, did. I really did. I looked at it for a second because you told me to. I thought it was like okay. It was okay. <laughs> That's why everybody warned each other. Because you got people like you running around, tell them it's okay. I said, Chris, it's happening. I looked for one second, but okay, enough of the eclipse. So we've seen think, enough of I it on Facebook it. and on Instagram. I, I, it's think over. I, I think I have it on our ring camera. For real? Yeah. get started with our 3 WTF video, I think it's a 3 WTF video, I want to thank everybody out there for going to MischiefToys.com today and buying the brand new Skeleton Plush along with the Skeleton Plush pin. You're amazing. Thank you. Heather and I were able to wrap all of the packages and ship them out today. That's right. We got them all out today. Not one, not two, not half, all. So you should be able to see your Skeleton Gasly on its way Right now, you should have some tracking. Some, do they have tracking? They might not. Don't don't put that pressure on the post office. Okay. It should be there it very soon. It should be soon. there soon. But thank you. Without you, Mischief Toys and Gasocast would be nothing, and we appreciate all of your support. And I can't wait until people get their hands on Skeleton Ghastly plush and put it with their Skeleton Ghastly figure. It's going to be amazing. It is. I can't wait to see all those pictures. So let's get into our three topics. I don't know if you want to call them three WTFs. I think a couple of them are WTFs. I think one is like a cool thing. But let's start off with this. Did you see this? Yeah. Mystery cans on Funko.com for $5. Question, is it actually going to be in this mystery soda container? Like, are they wasting money just Good question. Dumping I don't think so. I think you're just buying. I think you're just buying a Funko soda that they're just throwing in a box. So whatever you open your box up to, it's just going to be random Funko sodas, not a can like this. Okay. How long do you want to bet it'll take the first person to say that they don't want it? If the, if that is the case, that they don't want it because it didn't come in this can. This person says pre landfill sale. The best part of the sodas is the can. So. That's rude. Only if that's what the can looks like. Miss those Hot Topic Mystery Pop boxes, see? Mm -hmm. you, you're you're on to something, people are saying that. Gonna give you the Blue Beetle and Wakanda Forever sodas, that's probably. a possibility. You'll probably get the grandma from Blue Beetle. Out of curiosity, does the can actually look like that or it's a blind buy? Be cool if it did look that way. But no, I don't believe that's what's gonna happen. I yeah, think I you're just gonna have a box you're opening from Funko and it's going to be uh, just a random can. That's what we're going to get. Yeah, I think so. But look, this is cool for people who like Funko Sodas. Also, it's fun for people who like mystery. I have said for a long time that Funko Sodas are virtually dead. They're gone. I think Funko is trying to clear out the warehouse and get rid of everything. Hence, why they're doing uh, the mystery soda. We did get Jimmy the Cricket the other day from C2E2. Yes, yeah, so I'm very bummed out and I don't want to believe that it is true, but it possibly is. I mean, them doing a common soda versus the LE releases was a major issue. People are ordering a lot. This person ordered 10, this person ordered 12. 
That's a lot of cans. All the opened Wakanda ones. Exactly, that's exactly what it's going to be. So, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I think that this is pretty cool for people who like Funko Sodas. It's a bad thing because this is basically telling us that Funko Sodas are out. I believe this is the end game. We're actually seeing a funeral for Funko Soda right now. I don't know if you know that. It's really sad. You know, Taylor Swift has a song called Endgame, but it's very positive. But this here, this Endgame, not good. Why do you always have to bring up Taylor Swift? Because I know how much you enjoy it. Oh my God. What, do you remember there was an Avengers Endgame? And that's where they beat Thanos. Remember that? Uh, you could have used that instead of Taylor Swift. I forgot about that ever since Taylor Swift. Okay, so this is the one that's not the WTF. Somebody created... Okay. All of these like fun Franny Funko concepts. So this is from this is from at Freddy Funko Fun Concept. Yeah, Fun Concept. Fun Concept. Freddy Fun Concept. Okay, so this is all Franny Funkos. The first one, or actually, what six of them are one piece? So I really don't know a whole lot about them. So that's the big mom, big mama, or child big mom, yeah. or something yeah. weird, or maybe that's two characters that I just morphed into one. I don't know the other ones except that one. I recognize. You're, po the you're colors. pointing, but you're not saying what it is. The what is middle, it? One, the middle the one, one with the horns. Yeah, where she's okay. horny. Uh -huh. I recognize those colors, and I think that is very cool. There's an Ahsoka, a blue Ahsoka, which is something the we mentioned. Holly. They should Ahsoka. do. Uh, Leia, which is what we hope to see from that Star Wars NFT drop, but that didn't happen. And look at all the X Men characters there. You have Psylocke, Jean Grey, there's also Jubilee, Rogue, Storm, and then you got some other characters there. I love Lucy. I love Lucy. And then there's Dorothy. Yeah. And then there's a skeleton. I, I don't know if that's from something or if they just did a blue haired with the skeleton costume. I think and it's then badass. Leia. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Yeah, I think these are really great. And this is something that I hope Funko jumps on for this upcoming uh, San Diego Comic Con event. Yeah, that days. would be great. Yeah, I they should do really... this and just transition and make a bunch of the Franny Funkos instead of Freddy Funkos or do sort of a mix in between. But I'll be honest with you, personally, those X-Men figures are amazing and They're I'd be down cool. for all of them. I, I would love to see a Franny Funko as Storm. I think it's badass. Because I'm very nostalgic and it's one of my faves, Dorothy. I would say Storm or Jubilee. I really like Jubilee in her glasses. Who's Jubilee? The one with the pink glasses on her head. Oh, those are glasses. Uh -huh. I thought it was a headband. She's badass. Uh, yeah, that's very. That's a very cool one. I do like the I Love Lucy one, too. And you didn't see the it's new X-Men TV show, X-Men 97. It's very good. I'm not an X-Men person. You're missing out on it. It's very good. Yeah. It's very good. I'm sure it is. You remember when people used to go around when Breaking Bad was on? They are like, oh, you got to watch Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. you got to watch X-Men 97. Oh, and it makes me so want good. to do the opposite of watching. You remember? talk about Taylor Swift all the time. Just leave me alone. Let me talk about X-Men 97. Taylor Swift is the best. Taylor Swift is... No, she He's very good. Look at all these people. Amazing concepts at Rogue is Fire, Granny and Ramona Flowers. The anime ones are a far cry considering we haven't got anime Freddies. I can make these BRB. Don't do that to Storm. What's your problem? That's cool. Well, it might be that Storm is no. an African-American character. Maybe that's what they're saying. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what they're saying. Maybe. I mean, they could be saying that. I don't I have a clue. I don't know what they mean, but I think the Storm looks cool as it is. And she's very cool. One can only wish. There's so many more they'll be able to go with smart marketing. Nice. I would love a Velma or Daphne from Scooby-Doo. That would be cool, too. I absolutely love this. Freddy Fung concept is awesome. Love your art. What do you think if they did more, except the caption was, girls rule, boys drool? Oh, come on, Heather. Don't be stupid. I think that they should do that. So this is a WTF. Why? But it's <clears throat> WTF. I can't believe he did this. No, this is awesome. No, hey. I got it. Where's them Frannies? Oh, come on. Bring it in. Good job, Heather. Where them Frannies at? We're not wear them frames, wear them frames. Them, yeah, it's not WDF. That's weird. And the last story that we have, or the last thing that we're going to talk about. No, I want to do My little Tony NFTs. And here's why it's a WTF. <sighs> that King Sombra, I don't know anything about My Little Pony. King Sombra and Daybreaker are incredibly well done Funko Pops. I know! The molds are incredibly good. 
And I'm not a fan of any of this. I don't know anything about it. I know there's like a whole brony thing that people freaked out about a couple years ago or 10, 15 years ago. I don't know a thing about this, but it seems that the first set was very popular or people really seem to like it. Yeah. I I'm not going to buy them. I I'm not going to get into them. But I think as a mold, they look really good, at, at least the bottom two. They look great. Question for you. Did you see that King Sombra is metallic and glow-in-the-dark? That's pretty awesome. Isn't it? There's yeah. very few metallic glow-in-the-dark pops. It would be so cool if these were actually real and not digital junk. Oh, no. Not that again. Come People on. People still don't know what they are. Come on. Can watch our NFT tutorial. We got you. Okay. Not something I collect, but these are pretty solid molds. Yeah. Hey, Especially King hey, and Daybreaker. Hey, hey, shh. Nope. That was silent. Can you like have one day where you're not disgusting? All right, so what do we need to know about this? There's 8,500 standards, 8,500 premiums. That's a good number. So that's eight, what's that? 17,000? Yeah, 17,000. I'm uh, shocked that you got together, that. Or packs all you're together. You're not very smart, so. How many cards is that? No, don't do the math, don't do the math. But this is coming out on the 16th, which is next week. So all those fans out there, them, them bronies, or them My Little Pony fans, the MLP fans, They'll be able to buy series two. Can we just talk about the 8,500 and 8,500? Like that's low. That is pretty low. So do you think that they're choosing that based off of what license it is? Or do you think they're actually getting a clue about how to finally do things? No, I think it just comes down to what the licensor is wanting to do. What are you doing with that face? I had to yawn and I was trying to hold it. So Applejack, I had to zoom in because I can't see here, but Applejack, Princess Twilight Sparkle, Legendaries, I think, and they're 1,700 pieces. King Sombra's 2,000 pieces. I believe that's, the royalty. that's the royalty. And Daybreaker's a grail. Daybreaker's 999. So there, is, there isn't a Freddy Funko here. These are the only four. There was a Freddy Funko in the first one, remember the dinosaur? I remember he looked like Barney the dinosaur. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, that was great. So that's interesting. I mean, look, I'm not a fan of any of that, but I think they're cool, and I wanted to talk about that for a second. I think they're pretty badass, personally. They're great. They are great. And how about those concepts? Those are great, too. Absolutely love the concepts. I really can't wait to see what Funko does with Franny. They can do some really cool stuff. Unfortunately, I think we're seeing the end of Funko Sodas. And why did it happen? We can all have a long discussion and all give our ideas as to why this happened. I don't like long say, discussions. You could say that. I just could, like to say you things. You could say that they weren't popular. People didn't really care for them. But that's not true because people really loved sodas there for a while. Unfortunately, Funko decided to make a ton of them common and put them in Walmart and it became old real fast. Yeah. But let me tell you something. I got a little secret. What is this? This is a pack from Entertainment Earth. The first six pack of cans we purchased in a long time. This is Captain America with hammer. Hey, hey, hey. I'm hey. opening it with my favorite tool from Amazon and Chris is gonna link it in the description below. It's in every link in below, always on every video. I, yeah, in any video, but especially this one cause I'm using it right now. It's so great. You never get damage to your Funko Pops when you use this thing. Uh, well, hold on. You gotta, select, you gotta select one. Let's see who gets what here. We yeah, will. so these are Entertainment Earth exclusives. These are. This is the reason why things went downhill. They're 20,000 pieces. Why not make them where they're like a little bit more limited than that? That, that sucks. Come yeah, on. Yeah, like 10 or lower. Yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open these up until we get the chase. But I got a little secret for you. We're What's giving two of these away right here on the channel tonight. We want you to comment Hashtag sodas are dead. Sodas are dead. Sodas are dead, but I want that soda. But we're giving one of these or two of these away. So we'll select two I winners. I really don't think the sodas are dead, and I don't like that hashtag. Nope, that's a common. Did you get it? Whoa! All right. So what does the person who got the chase win? I think that you need to suck on my toes. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, I think it should. He's metallic and broken. Oh, wow, he is weird. This is weird looking. His skin looks like gold metal. Yeah, it's metallic. <laughs> what did they do to this? Is that weird or what? Yeah, it's weird. Why wouldn't you metallic the suit and not the face? Come on, that's weird. Did you know it was like this? No, I didn't even know that this existed. 
It's like a robo Captain America. Maybe it is. You have to see it to believe it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in the camera, but the one with the broken shield is the chase with a gold like head. It's gold. His face is gold. It's like gold That member. is so weird. Do you think he has a gold member? Get it? His penis? Yeah, I, I just don't know what to say about this. Say. I'm really bummed out about this. This is That's crazy. Hold on. I got to look this. We're going to look it up together. Hold, hold on. Okay, so truthfully, in this picture, I see it that it is like a little gold, but not like this. It, this looks like he's a robot. It does. That doesn't. That looks like he just has a like glossy like face or something. I am super, I'm super bummed out about this. That's craziness. Anyway, hashtag sodas are dead in the comment section down below. We'll select two winners. You'll win uh, each a common. I don't even know what to do with this thing. That's weird. Uh, well, now that you said that, we're going to have like 50 comments. I'll take it. Uh, no, if it becomes anything other than my collection, it's going to be a Patreon giveaway. Check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash castlecast to support the channel. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And in every video, we like to shout out to 10 of you. But before we do that. Final words? Did we, did we do our final words yet? Um, let us know what you think about the ponies. Will you be going for them? And who do you want to see Franny Funko as? What did you think of those concepts? That's a good question. Yeah, and what was the first one that we did? I don't know. The sodas are dead. Oh, uh, what do you think about Funko sodas? Are you happy they're possibly going? Are you sad they're possibly going? Do you think they're going? Do you think Funko will restructure things and get a clue? Probably not. Let, let us know. Let, let us, us know. know all. Ooh. Ready? One, two, three. Let, let us, us know, know all, all that, that and more, more in, in the, the comment, comment section, section down, down below. below. You're so annoying. We'd like to shout out to Sean Green, Star Rosas, March Attacked, Dave Adler, Adam and James from Shadow Force Collectibles, Loot in a Boot, Mason Bradshaw, James Thomas, Nick Master Miko, and Nick. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And again, check out patreon.com slash castlecast if you want to support the channel. Also, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and that little bell if you haven't already, because that helps our channel in a very big way. The like button helps so much. So please take the time to hit that button for us and show us a little bit of, I was gonna say a little bit of love, but a little bit of like. Also, make sure you comment down below so you can win one of those sodas. Hashtag sodas are dead. That way we can select two winners and it's gonna be a fun old time when you get your Captain America in the mail. And let us know what you think about that gold face Captain America. That's one question we didn't ask. That thing looks like garbage. Yeah, that's weird. Well, that's the end of our video. Thank you for staying until the very end. We appreciate you and we will see you on the next one. Bye.